What is up, Kratix? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. And I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Ubermach Zion Cabrio. Now, I did customize the regular coupe variant about a year ago. However, a lot of you guys wanted to see me customize this one as well. So, this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and used to be available from a server San Andreas website for only 65000 However, it was sadly removed from the website with the recent Mercenaries DLC. However, remember that you can still get this car off the street for free. Now, in regards to performance, the regular Zion Coupe and the Cabrio variant have identical performance. They're both in the coupes class and still one of the fastest cars in that class. However, the Previon is still significantly faster and of course the HSW Sentinel XS as well. But for being an OG vehicle, the Zion has very impressive performance and handling. Now in terms of what the Zion is based on, it's primarily based on the BMW E63 convertible. Plus, it's mixed with a few other BMWs as well, but again, it's mainly based on that E63. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Zion Cabrio. Alright, Zion Cabrio, let's do it. Alright, as usual, armor, brakes, chassis, so you have the custom interior. Now, on the normal Zion, it gives you the custom interior and a roll cage, but obviously this being a convertible, you don't get that roll cage. Uh, so you just get the nice custom red sports seat, which I really like. I think it gives it a nice look in the interior, so definitely do that. Engine, exhaust. Do some grass here. Um, so you have the stock, kind of like Infinity style exhaust. And then you got the quad setup, like a titanium variant of that, big bore, and then... Huh, what's the difference between this and this? I guess one's more titanium than the other. <laughs> um, all right. I kind of like this one a bit more. I think I'm going to go with this one. Do you need a drink? Well, hood. So it's just a carbon stock hood. Okay. I mean, I wish they would have done something else. Oh, and it debadges the car too. Interesting. I wish they would have done something else. Um, I mean, this is an OG car. You really can't expect much. But yeah, I think I'll keep the stock colored hood. I don't like the way it breaks up the lines on the car. Um, lights will do xenons. Plates will do a black plate. I don't think I have a BMW plate. I don't think I do. I might have my luxury plate. Uh, yeah, I don't really have. I don't really have a uh, BMW plate. Yeah, so we'll just do that. That's fine. All right. Now, in terms of the color, um, obviously I love this car in white. I think the white with the red interior looks great. But I want to go for something. Um, a bit more like the grayish sort of blue side. So we're gonna go to metallic and we're gonna go all the way down here to Harbor blue and then we're gonna throw on here an ice white pearl and look at the transformation on that It's like a grayish blue sort of color. I think it just looks fantastic on this car um, The red interior kind of gives it a nice contrast as well. So we'll do that crumble before this car goes in the hood, okay? Spoiler upgrades. So you got this one, this one, and that one. I think this one here, the mid-level, kind of goes with the, the lines of the car the best. So we'll go with that Looks one there. As good as you. Suspension. Yeah, I guess we'll lower it. All right. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Now for the wheels, I'm going to go to track. I love the stock wheels too, but I want something a bit different. Um, we're going to go to here to the Super Lux wheels. I think these look really good on this car. And then we're going to paint them in like a gray. I think like a black steel looks really good. We'll do that there. Maybe a stone silver. The alloy I think is definitely too bright. Let's do stone silver. Okay. We got that. Windows. Well, our windows are down right now. But <laughs> I guess we'll do like a light smoke there. if For, the, for when they're up. You know when you bring up the top. And that's all the options there. Actually, no, I think I'll go limo, actually. Don't okay. All right, let's take it for a drive. Exit to ground. Looks fantastic. Again, an OG car that has that many options is pretty impressive. See the color of the sun here? Look at that. That is a good-looking color. 
it's sort of on the gray side but when you bring it in the shade you can see more of that that blue that's just a really good color I think first person here Zion interior it's the same interior they share with the um, regular Sultan I believe at the red sports seats very cool see the top here the function goes very cool awesome I wish there was more convertibles in this game there really aren't that many if you think about it that, that actually you know where the top goes down instead of just like a removable targa roof option or something but all right floor it here this thing is in the coops class and it is very very quick so before the Previon was added this car used to be the fastest car in the coops class for for years I mean it was many many years I think like like what seven years roughly it was forever basically until the Previon came out um, that and that's the car that dethroned the Zion in the coops class for track performance and there's a reason for that this thing is an absolute beast in the corner is great speed too it's basically a, a slightly slower sports car it's basically what it is I mean it's the handling I mean this thing is incredible very stable as well change direction very quickly super grippy it is a very very nice car to drive unlike the Sentinel XS which is just doesn't drive as good as this car it doesn't have nearly um, as good of grip and you know just handling in general is not as great as the Zion but we do have the Sentinel XS HSW um, variant. Ooh, what the heck is that gauntlet doing? Uh, but that that car is insane in a straight line, but it's not all that great in regards to um, you know the handling. So, believe it or not, even with HSW, if you have a really quarter-intensive track, a, an OG Zion off the street, fully maxed out, obviously, racing against an HSW Sentinel XS. On a very very corner intensive track, the Zion still keeps up. I mean, <laughs> that just goes to show the difference in handling. Uh, but obviously, the Previon is 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 the king for those types of corner intensive tracks. But yeah, still love the Zion. I mean, this is a great car. You get off the street for free, max it out, and you have a fantastic driving car. And traffic here and there. All right, let's pull over here and open all the doors and stuff. Very small parking lot. <laughs> All right, a little bit of damage, it's a little bit. Okay, vehicle doors, not there, doors. Go all, the engine model there, reused in a bunch of cars. I mean, it's an OG car, so you can't expect much. That, that sports seat option is so worth it. The red sports seats look so good there. There's the trunk, and you got some of the top in there. Ah, so this car actually has it fixed. So in the Zion Coupe, the normal one, uh, when you bring up the trunk, this little piece of a tail light stays there, and then it's like clear up here. So very, very weird. But on the Zion Cabrio, it's it's actually correct. It's not broken. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Let's mess around. We always do this with the convertible cars in the game. Let's mess around with the top. So you have to go like this first. Let's see if it does any weird glitching. And then all. Okay, no, wait. Doesn't. Uh, but wait. First, you gotta do the top while it's in motion. Up. And then let's see. The trunk. Oh yeah, it kind of like it goes through the trunk a little bit. Yeah, it's funny. And then let's go back down. See if we see anything anything wild going on. Oh yeah, it goes through the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I guess that's why we don't have that many convertibles, because Rockstar can't be bothered to try to mess with that. That little bit of detail on a, on a newer, you know, multi-million dollar car that they would potentially add. But, um, yeah, great car up the street for sure. Highly recommend. Um, it all comes down to personal preference as to whether you like the Cabrio or the regular variant more. Um, personally, I think I like the regular one a little more, because it has the carbon roof option, and I think it really adds some contrast. However, if you don't like the roll cage at all, right, and you like the the red sports seats, then you definitely want to go with the Cabrio variant because the, the regular Zion forces you to get the red seats with the roll cage. You can't get them separate from each other. So definitely something to keep in mind. But anyways, guys, definitely let me know down below in the comments what vehicle you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. As always, the list will be down below in the comments. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.